So uh, good news for him and, of course, for South Africa. Uh, and good news for Somalia as well. Good to see that they're doing so, you know, a lot to make sure they come back into the international A lot form. of work still to go. They sometimes play their matches in neighbouring uh, Djibouti, but it, it's great if they can do it because they really do do a lot of work. So it's Thank amazing you. they never enter the Nations Cup. Thank you very much, Piers Edwards, there with the sports. Now, traditional drumming of Burundi has become such a symbol of national pride that uh, it was given cultural heritage status. It's famed not just for its powerful sound, but for that dancing that goes with it. Now, some drummers are asking for controls on who plays the drums and when they are played. BBC Africa's Salim Kikeke has this report from Burundi. <laughs> The sacred drums of Burundi. This ritual has been part of the culture here for centuries, passed down through the generations. 80-year-old Antime has been head of the drummers for many years, but it's now time for him to hand over to a younger drummer. We have already identified someone to take over from me, but it's still a secret. When the time is right, we will tell him. We have assessed his manner, how he behaves in front of his team members. He shouldn't be rude and has to have abilities to lead. These drums are made from a tree which grows only in Burundi. Traditionally, they were strictly played at royal ceremonies. But recently, they have been played at births, weddings and even funerals. The drummers believe that's diluting the cultural significance. We are planning to set up a commission that involves a wide range of people to discuss how drums should be played, when to play them, who to play them for, and how to participate in international festivals and any other aspect related to the drums. It takes a great deal of skill to play these drums, something I found out when I tried to play them myself. Now, as much as it makes such beautiful sound, the ingoma here has one of the most complicated sequences I've ever seen. It's putting the drum on your head and try to play it. Now, this young man here can do it. I'm going to give it a go and see uh, how good I am or maybe how bad I am. All right, so you're just going to put it on my head, make sure it's right in the middle. Give me the fimbo. Okay, the sticks. Okay, that's it. Clearly, it takes years of training to perfect the technique. But the drums are not just for entertainment. They played a key role in uniting Burundians during the dark years of civil war that ended in 2005. The music carries messages, for example, encouraging people to work hard or promoting peace. The drummers of Burundi are hoping the rhythms of their tradition will keep beating for generations more. Salim Kikeke, BBC News, Gishora in Burundi. Well, I was going to do a little dance for you, but I've been told we're running out of time, so I'm afraid I can't. That's it from me, Peter Okwache, and the rest of the Focus team. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Okwache. Thanks for watching the program. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.